the Diamondback stochastic trade is also called the Diamondback plus S. It's a plus trade plus an S, and we use the stochastic oscillator. Joining me now for a illuminating presentation on the subject of the Diamondback plus S trade is the Bishop Sean Campbell. Let's take a look at your charts and guide us through the process of setting up and taking a Diamondback plus S stochastic trade. All right. Basically, same rules apply that we just talked about before. Uh, we want the 170 to cross, uh, cross the 800, indicating a trend. Uh, in this case, we have uh, an uptrend. Um, uh, the, the difference is, is that instead of just taking a, a pure color change or an incorporating volume, we're going to add one more uh, piece to the puzzle. And it's the unbelievably... Uh, out of control, way too big stochastic oscillator. And at this point, we have we have the 170 going above the 800, so we're looking to buy on change of color red to blue. Um, we want to spike in volume just like we did before, um, but what we want now is the stochastic oscillator to go uh, oversold. Uh, we want the uh, it's, it doesn't have to go all the way down. Both lines don't have to drop into 20. Um, if you get if you get one line in, uh, that's that's totally preference. There's no set rule there, but you want the stochastic to go to oversold, um, and and you're looking to buy on any change of color while that while that stochastic uh, is is headed towards over oversold. So in this case. Stochastic. That's the first time it reaches over, oversold. Um, after we create the trend. The so first time. Once it look reaches at all that, that level. Movement. Look at all that movement that we miss. Yep. That's and that's fine with you all and I, right? Movement. So, oh, it's fine with me. I love it because what it's doing is it's giving you a really cheap entry into a into a great trend. Um, so we 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 have an oversold on the stochastic. So we're looking for color change and we'd like to add volume to it. Now, this doesn't have a spike in volume. Um, we, we'd have to, to pass that one up. Uh, we go oversold again here. Um, again, no, no big spike in volume. Uh, the spike in volume happens later. And what I found is that this is a little bit of an early indicator. To yeah, that, it is. It, make, it makes you start to pay attention, doesn't it? Exactly. You, you start to go, oh, okay, well, well this is happening. Uh, we're in an uptrend. I would assume that when I see color change on that, on that spike in volume, uh, it's a great time to, to get into that trade. So um, it's all about preference on this one in, in so many ways. You can trade it when, you, when that first one happens, if there's no volume. I mean... Well, what's nice about it is that that, that, sh that 60 20, 20 kept us from trading in this upward trend until right now. Yep. That is Absolutely. a long gave, time. It, yeah. Yeah, it, it let the trend develop basically is the way I look at it. It said, okay, this is this is actually going to happen and now now we're uh we're going oversold and I want to be in on this. I want to be I want to get a part of this trend now that I know it's going to happen. Yeah, that's awesome. That's the the point here, folks, is that we're now waiting for one additional thing to happen. What we just did was eliminate an extraordinarily large number of trades from the trend trading methodology. The Diamondback trade took 20 trades so far in this trend over and over and over again inside of this really cool box that 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 the bishop is drawing right now. And none of those trades were necessarily taken at all and then it finally dips below into oversold territory and it says now get ready it's like you make the trend prove that it started and really going before you get in and you wait to get in until the trend is proven it's a very patient approach Sean yeah it, it absolutely is and then I, I noticed that it picks up the more that the trend the trend goes you get you get a couple more uh, a couple more uh, hits down in that oversold, and again, we're we're not 
We're not trading a lot of trend. That... So you hold on to <laughs> maybe you hold on to these trades for a longer period of time now because you're using this stochastic oscillator, and instead of targeting 75 pips in a trend, now you're targeting 100. And this is a five-minute chart. And once again, Diamondback trades and Diamondback Plus trades apply to any financial instrument on any time frame chart. You could look at a one-hour chart, and you could simply increase the number of points that you're going to look for in a trade. Let's look at another example of where it yeah. dips into oversold territory. We got one yeah. coming up here on the right we're, side of the chart. Yep, we're dipped in over here. And um, you're looking at the CAD yen. I mean, I've never even looked at that one before. I never looked at the CAD. I don't even know how I pulled up the CAD yen, but here we are, and and we're gonna we're gonna back test it. So, um, so we got our first, our next, I should say, uh, dip right in here. So it's kind of saying there's no volume with it. So Not it's kind of saying, hey, yeah. watch out. Mm -hmm. We Not get yet. Um, so we're gonna keep moving forward. We're down here again. I would consider right, I'd, and now I'd consider this a spike in volume. Right. So now, when we see changes in color, we're gonna trust them a little more. I don't know what yep. happens next either. Or we could. I mean, I have no idea what happens here. I have no here. idea. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's gonna stop out. So it's a loss. And this one stops out. We get a we get a changing in direction of the trend. 170 crosses over, and now what we're looking to do is since this is below 170 is below, we're going to look for overbought conditions on this. Great. And this one actually goes overbought right away. So you could with no volume, but we're going to be looking for volume. And we cross back over. So it kept us out of right. the way I look at it is it kept me out of these trades right in here um, that that I could have been trying to sell with that downtrend and, and it, it's a, it's an extra buffer for me that says okay be patient and wait for uh, wait for good things to happen. That's a really great idea. Okay, the Diamondback plus S trade is as follows: all of the elements of the regular Diamondback trade, the Heikinashi candles, the change of color in those candles, the waiting for a trend to develop when the 170 crosses the 800, but also in addition, we're going to wait for the stochastic oscillator to reach an overbought period in a selling trend or an oversold period inside of a buy trend, and then we're going to take the trade. It's an addition that keeps us out of a significant number of trades, but when it does trade, the trades last for a lot longer and ride for much further. That'll conclude the Diamondback Plus S portion of the presentation. Let me pull up this and stop it.